Hello and welcome. My name is Thea Cannon and this is my 153rd testimony for the Elohim of Yahweh. Yeah. Oh, I've got the voices already coming at me from the left. What were they getting me to think about my name? Yeah. <laughs> oh, yes. As Yeshua Hashem has pointed out, I know that the Father does rename the bride, yes. <clears throat> but not in that sense. I never seen the bride as Israel, no, I seen the people as Israel, yeah, because the name was given to Jacob, fuck you bitch, and a father to Jacob, yes, because of Jacob's ladder and his dream, and he was renamed Israel, yeah, and his lineage, yeah, are the people of Israel, yeah, fuck you bitch, mm. If you read scriptures, that how is how it was. For his belief, yeah. Yes and no, you gave me a slight headache for that. Why, Thea? <laughs> because I'm looking at Jacob differently and he's ladder and he's dream. Yeah. Fuck. Because we're all human and Jesus, Yeshua, Hashem was the only one that didn't sin. Yeah. And he was the only one that didn't get tempted in the 40 days in the desert. Yeah. So what does that tell you? That everyone else did succumb to the temptation. So when you look at Jacob now, you fucking bitch. And his dream, yeah. Because you got to think that it was a ladder. And as Yeshua Hashem is getting me to point out, if I look at what I endured in that spiritual battle in those first few years, yeah. And the seven principalities of darkness coming at me, you fucking bitch. And technically they're in heaven, you fucking bitch. Yeah, so you can see how he displayed it and said it in a physical sense. But did he? They wrote it as a ladder. And really when you think about, if I was to think about my spiritual journey in the first two years, in those seven, three years, yeah, with the seven principalities of darkness, <clears throat> each one, yes, when I did reject them at the end of their offerings, yes. <laughs> hey, it's just like the father were twisted, yes. <sighs> yeah, because as a person, you're making the offering to the father, but the fallen angels get in your mind and make you offers, you fucking bitch. Yuck, rebukes you fallen angels in Yuck's name. Reversed? Fuck you. Oh, I know the occult use that. Fuck you. Praise you, Yeshua, and thank you. Yeah. Fuck you, bitch. Praise you, Yaka, and thank you for showing me these things and letting me be a vessel and hear thee from Yeshua Hashem mm. and for saving me because, yeah. Yeah. Their ultimate deception. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. Do you know when I was at a Christian school? Yeah. I do need to pray, yeah. But I'll throw this in, as Yeshua is saying. I got told by one of my teachers in class, because before I got baptised and did my testimonies and all my spiritual battle, I used to think, yeah, that you could defeat the devil, you fucking bitch. Mm. But I remember my teacher saying to me, don't ever think you can, you can't, no one can beat the devil. Yeah, fuck, yeah. I remember, this was at a Christian school too, yes. Yeah. And I remember thinking, wow, she's already defeated in her head. Fuck you! Praise you, Yeshua. Thank you. Because you can. With Yeshua Hashem's help on the right, reasoning everything out. Yeah. You can't do it alone. Like, I proved that. Fuck you, bitch! Praise you, Yahweh and Yeshua. Yeah. Why? Because I kept getting caught up in the thoughts from the fallen angels. I was testing them. I went to the end of them and then I rejected them. But when I look back now, after I read scriptures, yeah, I didn't even have to enter those imaginations because I knew up front that that was incorrect and wrong. Yeah. Fuck you. <clears throat> Praise you, Yeshua, and thank you. Yeah. Yeah. It was Yeshua Sham because... He will throw words at you, so you have to have the knowledge for him to use it. So you have to learn what Yeshua, Jesus, Hashem said. Fuck you, bitch! 
Yak rebukes your fallen angels in Yaka's name because it was Yeshua, Jesus Hashem's words that saved me in the end. Yes, 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 yes. They are coming at me from the left too, trying to tell me to do a prayer. No, no, side head out with that. I am asked, being asked to do a prayer. Yeah. But the Father, one of the many things that I've asked to ensure that I can stay on the right path. Fuck you, bitch. Yeah. I'm the Father. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Top of the nose. It's from the Father. Yeah. Do you feel yourself every now and then touching yourself and doing things? Well, I stopped and noticed there was a pattern with those. Well, I didn't actually. It was just sure Shem that was pointing out the patterns and I just listened. <laughs> yes. Yeah. And I questioned it with him in my mind. Yeah. Yeah. So you can go into deep conversations in your mind thinking. Yes. So do you have conversations in your head, thoughts in your head with the left or with your right, you fucking bitch? Yeah. Yes. Because the left side of the brain too, my left side of my brain is imagination. Yes. Mm. So, and the right side of the brain is truth, reality, reasoning. Yes. Your memories are stored here in the front, you know, in your prefrontal cortex lobe. Fuck you, bitch. Yaku rebukes you, fallen angels in Yaku's name. This part here. Fuck you. <laughs> yeah. They're in sections if you look up your brain. Yeah. So some people will sit there and tell you about their life story and they'll have partial reality, truth, right thoughts, because they'll be explaining it, but then they can get caught up in their own imagination with the fallen angels, imagining things that were not there. Yes. How do I see this? Because the Father's rule, Kakadesh, his Holy Spirit, would disagree with them using their head movements. Yep. As they say it, yep. He does agree with the right, yes. Fuck you! Praise you, Yeshua, and thank you. Prayer. Thank you. Thank you. So I do put my left hand down, as Father asked me to, because he did cast the beast down who used to sit below and to the left of the Father, as written in Scripture. Fuck you, bitch. Praise you, Yahweh, Yeshua, Kagadesh. And I raised my right hand up, yes, as written in Scripture, because Yeshua Shem was risen up, and he does sit at the right hand of the Father, below and to the right, yes. Yeah, the beast isn't there, but she's in your thoughts. As well as the other fallen angels, yeah. And the father did slightly disagree with when I said that the animal, the good angels came from the right. He did disagree with that. And then it got me thinking about things that have happened. Well, you did. You got me thinking about things that have happened. Technically, they used the animals, you fucking bitch, to look through. So, you know, the left thoughts can play on people that they're really special and they know how to communicate with the animals and things like that, yes. And then the fallen angels, because animals get a choice too, yeah. Well, yes and no, because I got a slight headache with that because my dog did not choose that that night, no. Because she came at me when the fallen angels were propositioning me to do bestiality in those first three years. Yes, tonight, them. Knew that wasn't the father in Yeshua, completely. Yes. But her eyes turned into snake eyes. Slits. Yes. Fuck you! Yaku rebukes you, fallen angels in Yaku's name. Praise you, Yeshua Hashem. Yeah, seen it. I denied it and her eyes went back to the same. Yeah, but they did take over my dog. Yeah, the dog face or the wolf face, as Yeshua was saying, the wolf face fallen angel. Yeah. Yeah, I've done my research too and I know that we domesticated and crossbred and so forth and ended up with the animals we have now. Yes, fuck you, bitch. Yaku rebukes you, fallen angels, in Yaku's name. So, Yaku, please, in Yeshua Shem's mighty Kodesh name, and by the power of your mighty real Kodesh Yaku, could you please put your hedge of protection around me and guide me in what I need to say? I would like to be a vessel for you. Could you please use Yeshua Shem to guide me and your real Kodesh to let me know when I have things wrong? Yeah. Please, Yaku, could I be a vessel for you and speak for you here on earth as you would have done in the Malhut? Yes. In his home? Yeah. It's a Hebrew word for home. Fuck you, bitch! Now who? Yeah. Please, Yahweh, Abba, in Yeshua's mighty Kodesh name, and by the power of your mighty real Kodesh, Yahweh, 
and by the most powerful of all, Yahweh, our Abba, Yahweh, our Elohim, and Yahweh, Ehad. Yeah. So, yes, animals. You did give me that, yeah. See, younger years, I've got to go with what they show me. I brought some lovebirds, yes. Yeah. My daughter wanted a dog at the time, but we couldn't have animals, so I was getting other animals. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. Always the story of, yes, I'll look after it, but I ended up doing all the work, yes. <laughs> so with these lovebirds, yes. Yeah, they were beautiful. Rocky and Rocket I had. Fuck you. Yes. But then Rocky and Rocket started breeding. Fuck you. Yes. I ended up with four, I think. Yeah, three or four. But then Rocket, the mother, passed away being egg bound. That was very sad. Because I had her on the bench and I was crying. I didn't know what to do. Yeah, I had, didn't know about vinegar and things like that. And I think I accidentally did it, not meaning to. Yeah. Why? Because she was safely inside and I'd put them outside for the day in the sunlight. Yeah. I think I scared her and she may have been trying to lay an egg and then they'll pull it back up inside if they get frightened. I didn't know that. Found all this out afterwards, yeah. But I had her on the bench and I was praying and begging and Rocky the father came out and he was trying to help me. Yeah. He was walking on her. Yeah. And trying to push it, yeah. It was very sad. She died. Yeah. I didn't know. Yeah. Why didn't I take it to the vet? Because I couldn't afford it, and that's been a thing in my life. Yeah. Because the vets won't look after your pet if you can't afford to pay for their bills. Yeah. They'll turn you away. Yeah. Fuck you. Yeah, rebukes you, fallen angels, in Yaka's name. In the last ten years, now they have vet payment bills where you can apply and anyone can get it yeah so if you take your animal in you can apply for like a credit no interest at all no someone set this up for people that couldn't afford it yeah so that you can pay it off slowly yeah their vet bills instead yeah yeah because what's happened yeah i can tell you that my shepherd right here i was having poisonous mushrooms come up in my backyard yeah i didn't i suspected they were poisonous but i didn't know why because i squished one and it popped and yellow powder came out yeah fuck yes so what happened was i had magic mushrooms growing in my yard and i didn't know and the male shepherd was getting out yeah i would find him laying in the backyard off his head Yes, he was finding the magic mushrooms and eating them. Yeah. Fuck. Yes. So, <laughs> hey. But then I noticed that he avoided the poisonous ones. So I had to get out there before the dogs and go around and squish mushrooms into the ground. Yeah. Fuck. To ensure that they didn't get the magic mushrooms or the poisonous ones. Yeah. Because I noticed one day when I looked out too before I caught him, he was growling at my female shepherd because she was attempting to eat one of his mushrooms. Yes. So then it got to the point, yeah, where I must have missed some, but I didn't miss the magic. No, my girl shepherd ended up eating these mushrooms. Yes. One, I think. Yeah. And she was dying. And yeah. I didn't even see her eat it. She just went downhill real quick. And my daughter and I at the time didn't think we could afford and to get her vets, bills and so forth. We couldn't afford it, so we didn't. And she went downhill real quick. Yeah. This was during my spiritual battle. Yeah. I was so upset. I was praying to the Father and to Yeshua to save her. <laughs> Please just save her. Yeah, I was crying. I was baby. <laughs> about an hour later, she threw up everything. <laughs> yes. My daughter was watching all this. I didn't care who was watching, who was listening. I was begging the father and his sure, please save her. Please, please, please. Yeah. Yeah. And she managed to throw up an hour later. My daughter was doing research, but she wasn't telling me the results. She was just saying, yeah, no, it's be okay, it'll be okay. She wasn't telling me that the mushroom she'd ate, eaten 
could kill her. <laughs> yes. Yeah. So yeah, I uh, didn't let up. I just kept crying, crying, and saying, "Please don't take her. <laughs> Please don't." Take her. <laughs> yeah. Ooh. Yeah, and about that lady, she threw a pot or more. <laughs> she she was gone. <laughs> Yeah. As soon as she threw up, I could see all the mushrooms in her spew. Yeah. And she, yeah, like dogs seem to think that you're going to growl at them when they threw up. When they throw up, yeah. I was begging her and saying, good girl, good girl, keep going, keep going, bring it all up. Yeah. And she did. And she came right. Yes. Yeah. I think it did spin my daughter out because she, I wasn't even looking at what she was reading. I was just crying and begging. Yeah. Yeah. And they did save her. Yeah, they made her throw up. Yeah. Fuck. Yeah. I know. Yeah. Oh, I did get angry running around the backyard the following day, squishing anything and everything that I could find. Yeah. Yeah. I kept coming back. Yes. Yes and no. We did end up getting on top of it in the end, I believe. Yeah. But I really had to scour the ground and make sure that there was none. Yeah. Very thankful to the Father, to Yeshua, for saving my dog. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, so I know that they can step in and... Yeah, at that time, I had been baptised, yes, and I had done my testimony, so, why, yeah, what do you think? I am thinking, what was the difference between my dog and the bird? Yeah, I wasn't baptised, I hadn't done any testimonies, I was still of that world, of the world, yeah, fuck. When I think about when I had that bird, yeah. But then, uh, was it the father or was it the fallen angels? I've got to ask myself now, yeah. Because what happened when the fa mother bird passed away, Rockhead, the father bird started trying to make love to his daughters, yeah. And I thought, no way am I having inbred birds, no, that have deformities and things like that within their breeding, yes, which would be very cruel towards the birds yes so i'd put a lot of money into them but no one really had any interest and they were a lot of work and they would not rocky yeah would not stop breeding no no fuck yuck rebukes you fallen angels in yuck the same yeah so <clears throat> i even separated him but he was very lonely his love birds like a companion <clears throat> but i certainly wasn't going to put him in with his children no he was trying to make love to them, yes. He was trying to make one of his daughters, yeah. I knew that wasn't right, no. And then I started thinking, I suppose we'd be sure that this was really cruel that I was keeping them in a cage. Yeah. I actually ended up ringing the breeder because I did look at people that had released them, but then I also did a lot of research and realised that they could not survive, yeah. Because they'd been fed and they'd been bred in captivity to rely on people, yes. So I knew that too, if I released them, they'd just have a short life and die, yeah. So I rang up a lovebird breeder, yeah. And I asked them if they just wanted them. Charged them nothing. I just gave them to them, yeah, why? Because they had lots of lovebirds, yeah. And I could see... <laughs> That my birds would be happier with them, yeah. Because all of Rocky's children went into the big aviary with all the other love birds, and there was hundreds of them in this cage, yeah. Rocky, he got to live out his best life, did he not? He got to be the male breeder, yes. <laughs> oh, they were happy to get Rocky, fuck you, bitch. You know, really she fallen angels in your first name. Because he wasn't a typical lovebird colour, no. <laughs> and then all he wanted to do was have babies, yes. <laughs> yeah, he went into their breeding program, yeah. 
but I wondered if I'd done the right thing. Yeah. Because, I, you know, yeah. And the next day when I was driving up to a set of lights, <clears throat> there was two birds of every kind sitting on every set of lights as I walked my way up to the lights because I was talking with Yeshua on the right, going, did I do the right thing? Is this the right thing to do? Yeah, and as I've looked up, I've seen parrots, galahs, yeah, crows, yes, two of a kind on every light as I was driving up to the lights and they were all going like this to me, yes. Yes. Fuck! Mm. So I was like, okay, thank you. I did do the right thing by giving those birds to them. Yeah. 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 Because I knew they'd live their happiest life with other birds around them. Yeah. Yeah. And that's what mattered to me. Because they weren't... Yeah. And yeah. 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 And then you did get me thinking about the native bird just then yeah back when i was living in tassie and the kids were younger i was living at port sorrel in tasmania yeah and i had a little native bird drop into the yard yeah and he it was weird i was hanging out washing oh, i think i was smoking a cigarette because i used to smoke cigarettes back then yeah and i noticed this bird looking at me and sitting on the roof just looking at me and i thought oh that's bizarre they don't normally, they're not that engrossed with a human, no. So I got it in my head. I thought, I'll oh, just raise my finger and see. And it did. It flew towards my finger, but I screamed and went, oh, and ran away. <laughs> yes, because I wasn't expecting it. I didn't think it would happen. So I built up the courage with his shield regime on the right. Yep. <laughs> and I put my finger back up and it actually flew down and landed on my finger. Yeah, and I had cats at the time, and I was talking to it saying, you're not going to last if you're out like this, mate. You flying low, my cats would have had you then. What are you doing? You're landing on my finger? Someone's obviously raised you, yeah, and you've gotten out of someone's cage, yeah, because you should not be this friendly for a while, but no. <laughs> I ended up... um brought him inside yeah he just sat on my shoulder actually and came up and chatted to me. yes he was very friendly for a little lady yeah so i rang up the rspca yeah which is a rescue for animals and i spoke to them and they'd actually had a bird disease in their devonport office in their aviary so they couldn't take them but at that time this was over 20 years ago Hobart in Tasmania had started a native bird breeding program. Yeah. And, yeah, I would love to know what happened with him because he was beautiful. I, when I took him in to drop him off to them, because I dropped him off in Devonport and they were going to drive him down to Hobart for, he was the first to start the native bird breeding program down in Hobart to boost their numbers up. They all thought he was mine and he was not. Because I've brought him in and I've gone, I don't understand this. This is the friendliest native bird. He should be wild that I've ever met. And they're like, oh, yeah, what do you mean? I've opened up the box and he walked over my finger and then walked up my arm and started talking to me. They fell in love too. Yeah. Yeah. He did. He went to Hobart, yeah, and became the first bird in their native bird breeding program. So I would love to know. I never found out. I never yeah, reached out again to find out what happened with him. Yeah. He was a little boy, apparently. Yeah. He was beautiful. Give me a sec. Yeah. Okay, back again. Yeah, I had to come away and blow my nose. Lesson learnt from Yeshua. That it's better to just stop and pause and people will understand and then sniffle all the way through it. <laughs> Thank you, Yako. Yeah. <laughs> Things I've had to learn. Yeah. Really? Yeah. <sighs> yes and no. It's a hard subject, really, yeah. Fool me once, yeah. Fool me twice and I'm the fool, yeah. Fuck you, bitch. Yes and no, yeah. No. I believe that I was pregnant for a second time, yeah. No. I even felt like I was feeling it and everything. Yeah. 
what is going on, Thea? I realised that I had misread scriptures. Yes. Yeah. And I suppose I wasn't open to hearing it at first because I was caught up in my own desires. Yeah. <sighs> yeah. You see, it would have made it easier. Yeah. But I didn't think of it as a man-child and all the rest of it, no. Giving birth to a man-child, yeah. <clears throat> so I have to realise that in this last month, I have come to a really accept that Yeshua works through me, yeah. And I am allowing him to speak through me, yeah. Through the TikTok clip that I did today, I realised this too. That he has a very different tone to me and he's very, <laughs> yeah, his emotions don't rise, no. Because mm. I butted in, <laughs> yes. And I hadn't realised that I'd do that, yeah, yeah. And I suppose I could hear the different tones, speaking tones. <sighs> Why? Because it was something that this other woman who had a go at me too said that, you know, she said that everyone has to look to the bride and she has to be the living order. See, I sat with that for a long time and then called bullshit on that. You fucking bitch! Yaka, have you issue fallen angels in Yaka's name? Why? Because then I would have been caught up in my ego thinking that the whole world had to look to me. Yeah. I would have been an antichrist in doing that. Yeah. Fuck. See, the living water. The water is classed as Yeshua as words. Yes. Yeah. Okay, so I am a human and I cannot know all. Yeah. But the Father and Yeshua have shown me that Yeshua is on the right in your thoughts. And the Father's real, Kakadeshi's Holy Spirit works through us all. Yeah. So wouldn't it be more beneficial for everyone out there to be given this knowledge, this power? Fuck you, bitch! Yaka evicts you fallen angels in Yaka's name. So that they can work on themselves. Because I can't do that for everyone. No. I can't sit down and piece together what you need healing and where you were deceived by the fallen angels. That would take me forever. Fuck you, bitch! Yaka abuse you fallen angels in Yaka's name. But you sure as Shem is working on every, in everyone's right thoughts if you call on him. Yeah. Because some people got caught up in their lies and their imagination with their left. Fuck you, bitch! Yeah. Yaka abuse you fallen angels in Yaka's name. It's a number of things. Been on TikTok for the last few weeks or week, yeah. Show me an insight, yeah. Because when people aren't themselves and play characters for everyone, they get more attention. Yeah. Yes. So, and everyone thinks they've got a way to make this world go into peace. And if anything, because I'm a Generation X, so I've been watching the Generation Xs, yeah. See, yeah, and I've seen some of them get caught up with the idea of come to me and let's talk about the way that we can save the world and get together and do this, yeah. So they're relying on themselves yet again, and they're just like everyone else. History, everyone out there believes that they can save the world, yeah. One person, as you sure as Shem is saying, imagine if I'd done that. And kept this knowledge to myself, you fucking bitch! Yaka abuse you fallen angels in Yaka's name. Because I know that if you listen to Yeshua Shem on the right and you're looking for the Father's real Kakadesh, you got no reason to come back to me, you fucking bitch! Yaka rebukes you fallen angels in Yaka's name. Because the living water, Yeshua Shem, on the right, his words are in you if you call on them. Yeah. 
He'll direct you and guide you as he's saying right now to show you what scriptures and what to read and what to listen to. Yeah. And you're always looking for the Father's real cockadish because remember, no human has it right. No. Hey, I'm still learning. And they've shown me this. But I'm still trying to pick up where I've been deceived in my thinking. You fucking bitch! You have rebuked you, fallen angels, in your name. And I could never have done this by myself. It was Yeshua Shem on the right in my thoughts and the Father's real Kakadesh that has guided me to find me who I am, who they are, so that my body flows with what I say. Yeah. So it's for free and it's in everyone. Now, if I'd kept this to myself, yeah. Fuck you, bitch. The Akribishu fallen angels in Yaku's name. Yeah. But instead, I'm doing as Yeshua Shem and the Father ask. I'm teaching you what they've taught me. Yeah. Yeah. I'm being authentic and honest self in front of you all with nothing to hide anymore. Fuck you! Praise you, Yeshua, and thank you. The Akribishu fallen angels in Yaku's name. Yeah. I didn't know that that there was the enmity between the woman's seed and the snake is written in scripture. Yes. And they only started swearing at me, the fallen angels. Yep, the beast. Yep. Yeah. After I didn't agree with them. Fuck you! Praise you, Yeshua, and thank you. Yeah. Fuck you! Praise you, Yeshua, and thank you. Fuck you, bitch. Praise you, Yaka, and thank you, and Yaka rebukes you, fallen angels, in Yaka's name. It is free choice. Yeah. See, so I did get upset about it a bit at the beginning when this first started happening through me, and I couldn't understand why the Father had allowed this. Yes. Free choice. Fuck you! Praise you, you sure, and thank you. Yeah. I've asked them repeatedly, if anything, the Father, by a... he hasn't allowed this free choice. Fuck you! Praise you, you sure, and thank you. Fuck you, bitch. Praise you, Yaka, and thank you in Yeshua Shem's mighty Kodesh name, by the power of your mighty real Kodesh. We all have free choice. Even the fallen angels do, and the animals do. Everybody has free choice. We all wanted that, did we not? Hmm. Yeah. The father doesn't want to push you into it. Yeah. You'd never learn anything. Fuck you! Praise you, Yeshua, and thank you. Yeah. Fuck. What happens when somebody and what happens when your parents say you can't do that? What do you do? Fuck you, bitch! Yaku rebukes you, fallen angels, in Yaku's name. So maybe it wasn't the father and it was the fallen angels pretending it was the father and it never was, you fucking bitch! Pays to question oneself because maybe you got caught up listening to a human who was playing an antichrist and thought they knew all, which they never do. Fuck you! Are you sure? You sure ashamed Jesus was the only one? Fuck you, bitch! <sighs> hey, Yaku rebukes you fallen angels in Yaku's name. Yeah. That's what they do to me. They've got no respect for me. This is their character and this is who they are. Yeah. So please don't come at me and tell me that the fallen angels are good and want to be our friends because that is not fucking true. You fucking bitch! Yuck rebukes you fallen angels in Yuckle's name. Hey. They deceived us all. Yeah. They were even deceived by their own thinking that they could beat the father and they never could. No. Never like. They deceive themselves, yeah. <sighs> yeah. Fuck. Yeah. And don't we, as humans, deceive ourselves? We do listen to the left thoughts, but, you know, it's like with my young years when I thought I liked someone, but I was purely caught up in their, you know, what they look like on the, in the flesh and wasn't really looking at their character, was I? You fucking bitch. I did. Yeah. And, you know, I'd soon find out, hey, yeah. Fuck you, bitch! Praise you, Yaku, and thank you. Yes. So, you know, yeah. Sometimes the present with the prettiest package on the outside can have the rottenest gift on the inside, hey, you fucking bitch! 
que há que eu vi que na cozinha a fazer. Só e. Fuck you! Oh, gee, Sharon, thank you. Yeah, so with the TikTok thing today, we were thinking and talking out loud, just Sharon and I, about the cows. Yes. <laughs> but it was what he was saying through me, yeah. And I butted in and said bull as well because he was saying, like, look what ended up happening to the cows and the steers. And I thought to me in my head, oh, you missed the bulls. But then he got me thinking about that. No, the bulls are set up. They got their ultimate desires. They got their hair on, and they got their female cows under them. So they got nothing to complain about. Hey, fuck you, left eye. Hey, yeah. But look at the cows and the steers. Now I bet you they've got a lot to complain about. You fucking bitch. Yeah, for big she fallen angels in the upper stone. Yeah, I never thought about it like that, but he's it's correct. Yeah. So then he started getting me to think about the humans, yeah. Because at the moment, yeah, you've got a few men who listen to the bull face, fallen angel, yeah, who make life hell for us women and for the young men. You fucking bitch! Praise you, Yoko, and thank you. And Yeshua Shem's mighty greatest name by the power of your mighty Earl Crocodiles. Hey! Yeah. So you have a few males out there that want to spread their seed and have a little harem under them and have no, you know, don't care about doing the dirty on you, don't care about having a lot of women at, on at the same time. Yeah. They're listening to a bull-faced fallen angel. Yes. Fuck you. And doing what a bull would do. Yes. Yeah. Can you see how the behaviour's linked? Fuck you. Where humans were never meant to do such things. And really, when you think about it, I don't even think the cows and the bulls weren't. No. Well, in that twisted version, the cows are just used as breeding things. Yeah. The males, if they're not considered worthy of spreading the seed with, have their balls cut off. You fucking bitch! Not given a voice, you fucking bitch! Yeah. And then the male bull goes and bashes up anyone that's smaller or inferior to him. Look at society and the way that males react. If you question that big alpha male, rah, yeah, they'll want to bash you up like a bull does in the paddock. You fucking bitch! They act like animals. You fucking bitch! Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They don't even know. Yeah. And yeah, you got me thinking, yeah. Like like that guy, that boxing guy, yeah, they don't want me to say your name, hey, because you're a lawyer. Fuck you, bitch. Father disagreed with what you were saying, yeah. Even if you try and flip it now and say that you were having people and leading them astray, yeah. How many people have seen that news report as opposed to the other ones that got you all that fame? Fuck. Hey. So you deliberately lied and deceived the people. You were exactly like the fallen angels, and that's what they do. Yeah. Fuck. Hey. You're a perfect example of a fallen angel. Yep. Yeah. As Yeshua is saying on the right right now, which justification. There is no justification for deceiving and lying to people. Now you think you're a fallen angel. Is that what the fallen angels think too? Have they? Do they think, yeah, that they've got justifications for all the things they've done? You fucking bitch! No, that's not true at all. And if humans are listening to that and thinking that that is true and working for them, they will soon find out that is very wrong. Fuck you! Praise you, you sure, and thank you. Yeah. Now, does the father, I've seen all the fear mongers out there and all the rest of those umbrella brackets or Ezekiel's wheel, yeah, all the different wheels, yes, caught up in their thinking, caught up in the fallen angel, you fucking bitch. See, so when Ezekiel looked up and seen the wheels, he seen the faces of the fallen angels and people getting caught up in their ways. 
next to the bald faced fallen angel. Hey, Golden Calf offered, Fuck you, bitch! Yuck rebukes you, fallen angels, and Yuck was saying, Now that Golden Calf, wasn't that his bull? Fuck! Oh, was it a calf? A child. You fucking bitch! They don't like me, no. Fuck <laughs> you! Here's you, she. Thank you, your Queen of Shirashim's mighty Kodesh name, Blood Fairy, your mighty rule, Kakadesh. And as your Shirashim's pointing out to you, they know that that does a, get to me in a way because I have got neighbours not too close by, but they seem to raise it in me. They're a little bit away, but. Hmm. I'm taking my breath. They can't hear me? No. <laughs> You bitch, raise you up, you sure. Thank you. Yeah. Hey, because I was feeding into that left thought then, thinking that they could, and he was trying to tell me that they can't. You fucking bitch. Yucky big shoe fallen angels in Yucky's name. I do love them for it. Yeah, because I probably would have adjusted myself then, thinking that they were listening. Yeah. <laughs> Where well, now you sure Shem and the father have pointed that out, that they, they can't hear. Relax. You fucking bitch! <laughs> she fallen angels in Yaka's name. She just said they did try and increase the volume. I know, that is rude and that is them. Fuck you. Hey, she is on, thank you. Hey, who would want that as a friend, you fucking bitch? Yuck rebukes you fallen angels in Yaka's name. Hey. Fuck. Where's your issue? Thank you. Yeah. I do have fun. Yeah, so I don't ever feel alone. And I was thinking about one of the TikTok clips where I said about a friend. Yeah. Truly, I don't think any friend could have handled the things that I was saying. No. <laughs> I even know. Yeah, they wouldn't have known what to say. They don't have the knowledge to know what I am talking about. No. When it comes to fallen angels, because most of society has been presented with this beautiful angelic looking thing flying. Fuck you, bitch! And the eyes, as Yeshua Shem saying, like the eyes all over the fallen angel. Yeah. They do, can see through your left eye if you listen to those left thoughts. Yes. See all those eyes now? All the people working for them? You. Yeah. All the people caught up listening to that wheel. Hmm. Yeah. Hey. Here's your saying here, because you gave me a slight headache, so I've got to go with it. Animals getting abused. Trauma. This is where it comes from. Yes. My dog's been attacked a few times off lead, so yes. And also other things can let it in. Yeah. Food. I used to find, because I had a thing with food as well, when I gave up smoking, I turned to food instead. Yeah. But when I started sorting out my thoughts, I started noticing that I had developed a pattern when some thought gave me anxiety or a bit of apprehension, you know, yeah. I would stop thinking about that thought if I grabbed some food. Yeah. Yeah. And even like Yeshua Shem saying, sometimes when I'm under attack from the left thoughts, I will pick up the phone and look at things because it gives me a chance to zone out on what they're doing to me and just, yeah. Yeah. It's like a break in a way, but it's not. Not anymore. It used to be in the past, yes. But now it's like everything I'm questioning, everything, yeah. Constantly, my brain doesn't stop. Fuck you! Praise you, Yeshua, sure, and thank you. Yeah. <sighs> but yeah. I used to do that in the beginning of my spiritual battle. I always say, like, one day it would be lovely to just, just not have to test every thought. Yes. And I know that, you know. Cutting off those left thoughts and cutting off those old behaviour patterns. I'm getting less and less of it. Yeah. 
but also to as I progress with the Father and with Yeshua, the left amp up their attack on me. Yeah. So it's almost like they want to push me to the point of saying, is this worth pursuing a relationship with the Father and Yeshua if this is what I'm going to cop from the left? You fucking bitch! Yuck reviews you fallen angels in Yucca's name. No, I don't. But I've heard other people say that. Yeah. Yeah. That they have tried to pursue a relationship with the Father and with Yeshua and when they did, everything turned upside down in their life and they found life really hard and when they just went back into normal things and forgot about pursuing the father and Yeshua life was good again yeah yeah yep fuck and I have to say at times I can be like oh I just want to break yeah and I'll pull back and just zone out on movies because then I don't have to think yeah what happens it can affect my sleep yeah yeah I was playing games and you know it was good for my brain because I like to do patterns <laughs> yes but then when I was closing my eyes I'm seeing like flower pots and candy canes <laughs> yes too much, yeah. Fuck <laughs> you, bitch. Yaku, she just in Yaku's name. So, yeah, I've got to, yeah. But, yes, it's not an easy thing to work out oneself, no. And as you sure as I'm saying, there are people out there that get it a lot easier, yeah. Yeah. Well, help others. Yeah. Fuck. Yeah. Tell them about how you think. Because you may not even know it that you've been thinking with your sure and the sham on the right in your thoughts. And the father's been agreeing with you. Mm. You'd be a good guiding voice. You can't be the leader, no. Because it is a conversation and that's what they've been trying to get me to see. Yeah. When I was doing my counselling course before I got baptised and everything, I was in a therapy session. And the counsellor asked me, my teacher, yeah, asked me, who's your people, Thea? Because they were from all different Catholic, you know, Protestant and this and that. Yeah, they were all from different places. And I said, everyone. Yeah, I didn't know. And that did spin them out. It spun me out too because it came from inside me because I got put on the spot and I just went, everyone because I wasn't going to go off to one people. I wanted everyone. I wanted to be friends with everyone, not just one religion, you fucking bitch. Yeah, it spun me out too. I didn't understand the significance to it because usually when people go looking for Jesus Yeshua, they branch off to different religions or, you know, they go searching for the Father, then they'll branch off into another. And Yeah, everyone has their different category. And it was weird because... In class, again, a different, yeah, all of them were there. We were asking questions, and I suppose I had this teacher stump because she couldn't figure out what sh which denomination I was from, yeah. Because my answer spun her out, and I made the whole laugh cl class laugh. And I didn't see it as funny. I just went, oh, okay. Because she said to me, what religion are you from? And I went, no one. <laughs> yeah. And they all pissed themselves laughing in the class when I said that. Because to me, that was a foreign concept. It was like, why do I have to label myself? Why do I have to put myself with a religion? Why can't I just believe in the Father and in Yeshua? Fuck! Yeah. And I suppose that was awesome for me. Yeah. Because it didn't allow me to have a power play in my head by putting that label on me. Yeah. Yeah. Because I was willing to talk with everyone and anyone. Yeah, <clears throat> and as you're going back to that counselling session, they asked me then, what do you really want? And it was my answer because they came out from nowhere. Yeah, I said I wanted a conversation. Yeah. Fuck. Yes. Where no one's in charge, you fucking bitch. Yuck, review, fallen angels in Yuck, the same. I want a conversation. 
with Yeshua Shem on the ride in my thoughts and with all of you who are listening to him. Can we have a conversation? Can you add to what I say? Can you reveal your inner thinking with Yeshua Shem on the ride in your thoughts? Because we'll look for the Father and you can refine your speech with them. A conversation. Not a power play, a conversation between people. Fuck you, bitch! So everyone is needed. Fuck you! Praise you, Yeshua, thank you. Fuck. Hey. Yes. Because the living water is within everyone. You're sure on the right in your thoughts if you're listening. Yeah. And the Father's real cockadish, present within us all, agreeing and disagreeing with your words as they're spoken. Yeah. I love them for it. I didn't understand these things or know these things until they showed me. Yeah. Because I did get caught up in my own imagination too, did I not? I didn't know that the man, child, Yeshua, yeah. coming out of me, me, I have allowed him, I'm freely choosing to allow him now to use me as a vessel to speak through me for everyone else, regardless of the consequences to me. Yeah. And yeah and no. I think that's the left. Yeah trying to tell me that there will be a big bad thing but if anything the people that have come against me yeah because there have been a couple yeah <clears throat> have something to hide themselves yeah and like i said you know like yeshua has been showing me the words that they use against you name calling and so forth they've read their own heart their own issues that they need to address within themselves yeah so if they're telling you that you're listening to a false spirit, they're actually the ones listening to a false spirit and they're projecting on you what's going on wrong with them. Yeah. Fuck you! Praise you, you sure, and thank you. Yeah. You see, and at the end of the day, you don't have to take my word. Why don't you say it yourself and see if the Father agrees through your own body language? Hey. Yeah. Fuck! And, you know, you want to know what's going on in the world, as you sure as I'm saying? Say all the fear-mongering shit out there. Film yourself saying it. See which direction you're looking to when you're talking about that and you understand if someone was making that up from their imagination or if it was actually coming from your sure as I'm. Yeah. Now, is the father agreeing to what you're saying? Because humans out there will make these things, try to make these things come true. But I've watched people who talk from the left and talk about World War Three, nuclear this, nuclear that, and all the rest of it, and all the different scenarios, and Israel, the land, not the people. Fuck you, bitch! And the father disagrees with all their endings. Yeah. Yeah. No third temple will ever be built on that mount. Fuck you! Praise you, you sure, and thank you. The father disagrees through every person that talks about that through their body language not one every single one 100 percent all the time their head says no so the father is telling me that they're full of shit fuck you bitch praise you yucker and thank you he does agree to some of those left thoughts because there are some evil human beings out there that are trying to make it happen because they believe in their head that the father wants them to kill other people for him. Can you see how they're listening to the left? And they got those thoughts from the left, from the fallen angels who were deceiving them. Yeah. Fuck. Hey. I rebuke you fallen angels in your uncle's name. So please, say everything that you've ever heard. Are there aliens? No, there is not. You fucking bitch! She fallen angels in Yaka saying. The true question is, did the fallen angels pretend to be aliens so that people would worship them in their head? You fucking bitch! Yes. Fuck you. Praise you, you sure? Thank you. Yaka rebukes you fallen angels in Yaka saying. The left were coming at me there when I was <laughs> trying to get me off. Yeah, no. Fuck you, bitch! Fuck you. Praise you, you sure. Thank you, Yaka. Fuck you. Praise you, you sure? Hey. Hmm. Remember, he's your king. Fuck you, bitch. 
Okay, she awkward. Thank you. Thank you, sure. Why did I say that? Because of the way they treat him. Yeah. Yeah. And you know the beautiful thing? He really does live to his words. That he would do unto others as he would have done unto him. He's never sworn at them. No. I think Kenny can't say the same thing. No. Fuck you, bitch! The Ugly Bear Shoe Follower just the Ugly's name. I know it is written in scripture that I would have a potty mouth. I know. You know, that can be looked at it a lot of different ways now. Why? Because the Father considers the fallen angel's thoughts as shit. And your clothes are covered in shit while you listen to those left thoughts. Yeah. Yeah. You may think those left thoughts you want them, but you never did. You never questioned it. You never reasoned it out. You never thought into it. Yeah. Yeah. And you want to be an animal? What animal is that? Because you're listening to that face, fallen faced angel right now. Yeah. Hey. Fuck you. Yeah. Yeah, I can see, as you sure as Shen saying, the cats and the dogs, how they got really close to the humans and they were rewarded for that. Got an easy life. Yeah. Fuck you, bitch. And it was, yes, as you're saying, the Egyptians that let the cats in. And when you look at the faces of the half-human, half-dog, half-human, half-cat on all their hieroglyphs, you fucking bitch. Yuck reviews you fallen angels in Yuckless name, they're Nephilim. They're your offspring fallen angels, you know. Fuck you. Praise you, sure, and thank you. Yeah, it's a lion faced human body one, hey, you sure, you fucking bitch. And there was like the ibis bird with the human body, you fucking bitch. Fuck you. Praise you, sure, and thank you. Would we go on to Greek mythology now? What was her Medusa? Medu yeah, she had like snake eggs, so and humans, so that would have been like the snake face fallen angel. Yeah, you fucking bitch. And then you had the horses and the half horse, half humans. So there was a horse face fallen angel. Yeah, who procreated with the humans and created a different race. Yeah, I was thinking of Twilight then, so yeah, because I thought, oh, honestly, if a human woman was impregnated by a horse face fallen angel, that's got to refer to pieces to conceive that child, yeah. Hey, Twilight, you fucking bitch! Fuck you. Praise you, Yaku, you sure will cock fish. Now, if you started like that Praveen Mohan, he was doing research, yeah. And on their temples, they've actually got pictures of where they were creating their own womb, like a woman's womb, yeah. And it was like a big clay jar, and it actually showed them how, yeah, yeah, it's creating their own race and the different, yeah, it's in all the pictures. It's like he was saying, like, you can see where they've actually been, yes. So obviously the babies were ripping through the human mothers, so then they adopted it and started making these ways of, yes, look at it. Like probably my aunt, he's done a lot of research. She looks at the patterns and things like that to see the patterns on them. And he actually figured out that they were making their own creation, really. Yeah, mixing the seed of a human with an animal from the fallen angel and breeding them in jars. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. I know the movies like to think of those high tech. It actually was like a clay jar and, yeah, they got pictures of it. Yeah. He went in right in depth in detail into what they had on the pictures and the carvings and so forth. And if you pieced it all together, you'd realise that they were breeding their offspring in clay jars. Yeah. Fuck. Yeah, it's weird because you could even see how they'd done it and set it up on these Pictures, yeah. Hey, I know. Yeah. And then it's like all of their gods, but they're fake to me because they're fallen angels and they're offspring, yes. You can actually see the animal face with the human body. So they were like the fallen angels in a way, yeah. 
like you, you know like they had a human body it was four faces so they'd turn their face to procreate with the humans yes one body four faces yes yes yeah so i suppose when their offspring came out with a human top half and the horse body but that wouldn't have made sense because it would have been the other way around for the fallen angel yeah human body with a horse head yeah fuck you bitch oh i am thinking now you should have just gave me that the picture of the elites parties where they like to put on the mask of all the animals or the fallen angels how do you think they ended up where they are fuck and they like to play the games of the animals. Like they like to pretend that they're a bull and they're a goat and all the rest of it. And they actually put animals in the rooms with them because they like to do bestiality because they're listening to the fallen angels. You fucking bitch. Fuck you. Praise you, you sure, Jim. Hey. And pedophilia, as she was saying. Yeah. Fuck you, bitch. But that comes back to animals because animals don't really negotiate the age, do they? Fuck you, bitch! Yuck rebukes you fallen angels in Yuckle's name. You did get me thinking about it the other day. Like I've heard people call pedophiles crabs. There is a certain crab out there. Yeah, I was watching this documentary one day. I don't even know why it popped up in my feed. And I don't even know why I listened to it. And I don't know why I watched it. And it was like, yuck! <laughs> Sing it up, yes. But these male crabby things were the male ones were just going around and trying to stick their into anything, and they were raping their own children and killing them. Yeah, yeah. And it's like, wow, they're listening to a crab face fallen angel, these pedophiles. And that's why they see nothing wrong with it because this crab obviously sees nothing wrong with it because it's been going on for how many generations and these crabs still do it. Yeah. Hey. Bottom feeders, you fucking bitch! Yuck reviews you fallen angels in Yuck's name. Yeah. Disgusting, hey? I suppose for the crabs it's not. You fucking bitch! wonder how the crab's children feel. Fuck you, bitch. Fuck. Fuck. Your crew beats you fallen angels in your uncle's name. Fuck you. Ugh. Always just sure as him saying, do the crabs not originally do that? And they listen to that fallen angel face on the crab. Yeah. Because you, when you listen to the left voices, you're fulfilling their desires, the fallen angels' desires and the things that they wanted. Yeah. Yeah. They don't do it for the Father. I've heard that too. That, oh, we work for the Father and we do it. Bullshit. Yeah. Fuck you, bitch. Father wouldn't have reacted the way he did in scriptures if that was true. Hey, what did you do when you put the calf there? Hey, fuck you. Praise you, you sure, and thank you. Yeah. They'll try anything, the fallen angels, to try and get you to follow them. But it's all based in left thoughts, imagination, eh? Well, not all of it, as you should. The father slightly disagreed. Because the fallen angels like to twist scripture. Fuck you. They have no... Yeah, they have no thoughts of their own. They take the father's things and they twist it with their imagination to suit their own agenda. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to get off now. Yeah, because they are saving my things. So it's too much. And yeah, I'm starting to get warnings on YouTube. So... Oh, we can keep it on other platforms, hey? Yeah. Yeah, TikTok, TikTok, yes. I am enjoying that. But I also probably got more views. Yeah. It's not censored as much on YouTube. No. Fuck you. Hey. So, yeah. But I enjoy doing these, yeah. Because YouTube... TikTok is quite quick. You've got to be quick because you get 10 minutes, yeah. So, yeah. 
I like to slow down and look for the Yeshua and the Father. Yeah, with these. Yeah. And I can find out new things. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Because at the end of the day, it's things that Yeshua and I have been thinking about in my head, but I haven't had a chance to express them out loud. Yeah. 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 Hey. All right. Yep. Yep. Yes. Yeah. Thank you, Yakwa. Thank you. Mm. Hmm. I don't know what you should have thought then. Are you bitch? Are you bitch? You all an angel in the other name. Does that? Yeah. <laughs> you. I trust you. Yeah. There's someone out there. Yes, no. Fuck you. Could be for me later on when I watch this. <laughs> yes, you fucking bitch. You all an angel in the other name. Yeah. Okay, yeah, so we'll finish with a prayer. Yeah. Left hand down as far as the cast one third of the fallen angels down. Oh, I've had it down so long. <laughs> I did think we'd be sure. It was like a blood. It was a bit hard to bring up. <laughs> so, yes, left hand down as far as the cast one third of the fallen angels down. Isn't it technically the other way around when you raise your hand above your heart that makes the blood? Harder to get down there, so I had too much blood in my hand because it's below my heart. It's easier to bump. Oh, I did, yeah, didn't think of that issue. Thank you. Technically, it's got to come up here and then down my arm, so technically, it's below. Yeah. Fuck <laughs> you! <laughs> Reasoning things out, yes. <laughs> yeah. Fuck <laughs> you, bitch. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yeah, I did learn about that. Yeah. Yeah, and also too, because yeah, my daughter would hurt her self in football, so you had to always make sure that the foot was above the heart, so that the blood wouldn't rush to the floor, foot, because that causes more pain. So you elevate your foot above your heart, so that then the blood's not rushing to it, and you get less pain. Yeah, yeah, fuck you, bitch. You did get me thinking about that too. Generation X. I must admit that I had to learn these things for myself. <laughs> Why? Because I noticed that if I didn't clean a wound out, I'd start to feel pain in that wound and it would get infected where if I felt a little niggling of pain and washed it out with salt water or yeah, water, that niggling went away and it didn't get infected. Yeah. Yes. So I suppose it was lessons learned, learning ourselves. Yeah. Yeah, hey, because I didn't clean a wound once when I was a kid and then we had a bit of gravel in it and then it just kept getting infected over and over and over again until, yeah, I gave it a good clean out and I think I put salt water on it and it went away, yeah. So you do learn to do these things, yeah. I would wash it with salt water and I've even done it with my dog, like when she's hurt her paw on an oyster shell, yeah, I would actually give her like soak it in a cup of salt water yeah because yeah you can't really get her in a bucket so i'd sit there and you yeah, old cup or whatever yeah yeah or oh, at one stage too i was using like honey and yeah alternatives i mean too yeah so i would um wash all the foot off and get there and wash it off and then Put a bit of honey on it. I did have a bit of no, but that wasn't that great. No, I use like this manuka honey stuff that you get for animals, yeah, or coconut oil. If I didn't have that, yeah, that's really good at killing germs, yep. And then I'd just wrap it up in a bandage. Bandage would come off all the time, yeah. The dogs don't keep bandages on for long, so I did have to keep re soaking and reapplying, and yeah. Oh, when she cut the bottom of one of her paws on an oyster shell, man, that was hard because she wanted to go for a walk, but every time she went for a walk, she'd rip it open again. Yeah. So I actually couldn't take her for a walk for about three weeks. Yeah, it took forever to heal. Yeah, we were both very happy when it was healed. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, because she was having a lot of fun at the beach, but then we couldn't because it would... I took it down after about a week and yeah she ripped it apart just playing on the and running along the beach because I noticed 
there was blood spots on the beach as she was leaving, as we were leaving. So I was like, holy crap, I really am going to have to make you not walk for the next three weeks if I want to see that heel. Yeah. And she then kind of put her foot down and then, yeah, yeah. And then at one stage, part of the skin that had come apart on it was sticking out. Yeah. So it was like pushing into this new spot and it gave her a bit of pain. I cut that old bit of skin off, yeah. So it wasn't digging into the bottom of her foot, foot, yeah. I tried to get it to join back together, but it wouldn't. I, it ended up creating a whole new skin underneath, yeah. Yeah. Um, the vets couldn't do anything for it because of where it was and so forth. They would have only used, like, yeah, many things, yeah, which she pulls off and, yeah. Because she would lick it and she would pull the bandage off. <laughs> I know I could have gotten her a cone, but she lives with me in a van twenty four seven. Yeah. She can't really escape, so I would hear her and see her as she started trying to lick it a foot and I'd be like, Oh no. Yeah. It was mainly of a night when I went to sleep. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Guarantee in the morning she had no bandage on. Yeah, which was a pain in the ass at first because she kept opening up the wound by licking it in the first week, yes. Um, I ended up bandaging the bandage on her foot with tape, yeah. As soon as she couldn't get it off. <laughs> but she, I'd wake up in that sock because I'd put a sock on her foot and then bandage the sock onto her leg, yeah. We'd be soaking wet. <laughs> But the wound had stayed together, <laughs> yeah, because she didn't actually get to it, no. Like, I know. But we do not go near oyster shells at all on the beach. Mm, that was a lesson in itself. But they didn't, I didn't even see them because the tide had gone out and we'd gone to this spot a few times and she'd run down to this spot. But the oyster shells were like, really dark and looked like the rocks and it wasn't until i got down there and went holy shit look at all these oyster shells not back off come back this way it was too late yeah so now if anything it made me slow down and really survey the area if i was going to let her off lead to have a run on the beach i had to make sure that tide was up and there was nothing but sand yeah yeah, because mostly here in Australia and Tasmania, when the tide drops, that's where all the oyster shells are. Yeah. But when the tide comes up, it's really sandy beach. Yeah. Yeah. There are oyster shells on the rocks that man has created. Yeah, like our barriers and that to stop the ocean eroding the foreshore and things like that. Yeah. Yeah. There are a lot. Yes. Yeah. People do eat them, yes. I have seen people go down and collect them and eat them, yeah. Bernie has a lot, yeah. I don't like them at all, no. I don't even think I've ever tried them, but no. Oof. Well, have I? Did I ever? No. Fuck you. Ew, they look disgusting, <laughs> yes. <laughs> and I have read scriptures. But also in learning scriptures, I found out why the father in Yeshua said that. Do you know why he said don't eat those things? Yeah. Because they eat the shit. Yes. The smallest of chemicals and things like that. Like when they did tests on these dolphins, they found that the dolphins were really high in mercury and the meat was really high in mercury because at one stage this place had been selling it to their own people as tuna but it wasn't it was dolphin meat yeah yeah and then they started testing it because they found that there was birth defects in the children because the population had been ha had been eating high levels of mercury in the dolphin meat which they didn't think was dolphin meat yes yes because dolphins and that eat all of your shrimp and things like that now they feed on all the shit, the little, little shit, yes. So they found when the scientists did tests on them that the littlest things are really, really high in mercury. Yeah, it's like the whales, they like to feed off the plankton and that, yes. 
yeah so as you go up yeah through the chains the mercury sort of dies off a little bit but not in the slight headache with that it doesn't no no hey mm. things you find out yeah so you're opening up your body now to cancers because you ate that shit because of the things that they live off yes in the ocean and so forth yes so there are reasons for why the father wrote these things in scripture he wasn't doing it just to go hey i don't want to be i just want to be a, you know you enjoy the taste of that but do you because i used to think that i enjoyed the taste of things but then in my spiritual way you sure would get me to stop hold the food in my mouth and really taste it and sometimes i'd find that oh, i never really liked that at all yeah especially like with candies and things like that i don't know i was listening to the left telling me that i liked it but i really didn't but it was sweet yeah fuck you bitch the yeah, arch review she fallen angels in yakwa's name how do you get me to slow down my eating yeah and taste things yeah does give you a different outlook on food i had not realized how much the fallen angels were manipulating me in my thoughts yeah because i used to think i really liked the taste of coke but then i started tasting coke and i realized i did not at all no fuck you crazy you sure and thank you yeah things like that i know it's bizarre because i just thought i liked these things but when i really tasted them they tasted like shit yeah but i would have those left thoughts tell me no 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 you do like that yeah they were deceiving me into thinking that into not identifying my own taste buds <laughs> yes fuck praise you you sure and you for you hey it's been a battle yeah fuck mm. yeah so i put my left hand down his father cast one third of the fallen angels down and i raised my right hand up as you sure shem was raised up i do need to go to the toilet so they both said let's get off yes <laughs> i don't know why i should do it <laughs> you praise you sure and thank you yeah so yakwa please in yeshua shem's mighty kodesh name by the power of your mighty real prophetess could you please yakwa forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors yes and we thank you yakwa in yeshua shem's mighty kodesh name by the power of your mighty real kodesh yakwa yes for yeshua shem and for your real kodesh and for you yakwa thank you thank you left were telling me through that that no one wants to hear the things that you say and this is going to make no impact that's what they do with me yeah fuck you praise you you sure and thank you yeah even if one listens you sure have said fuck you bitch the yuck rebukes you fallen angels in yakwa's stain and then test themselves they can have a conversation with you sure yeah and the father too yes fuck you A mosquito fuck you yeah oh yeah. they don't normally like me yeah never have all my life no. don't like the taste of my blood fuck you bitch <laughs> praise you yuck. you sure of recognition thank you <laughs> so yakwa please in your sure shim's mighty kodesh name by the power of your mighty real kodesh yakwa could you please yakwa let your wrath be completed here on earth as it is in the Mahut in your home, Yakwa. In Yeshua Shem's mighty Kodesh name, and by the power of your mighty real Kodesh, Yakwa, and by the most powerful of all, Yakwa. However, Yakwa al Elohim and Yakwa Ehad. So, yeah. I was, and yeah, it was left, yep. Yeah. yeah. Getting me to think that I had to but I don't know you don't want me to no. okay mm. yeah okay I love you all and thank you thank you shalom 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 thank you love you